This is the, uh, well, the end of my uh, AK-47 Sega 223. Well, I bought this and changed out some parts on it. Um, well, it didn't have a flash hider on it. And I wanted to put a flash hider on it. And I've never put one on before, but I, I have threaded a lot of other things, so came, I didn't figure it would be a whole lot different. But anyway, uh, this is uh, what I did. I took the I kicked the camera again. Crap. Anyway, uh, this is a piece I took off of here. You have to be careful on this. Uh, so what I did, I took and you measure, take the flash hider and measure back how far you want to go uh, depending on your threads. And then you just take and cut this right around here. Keep going around checking it for depth. Then I cut couple times this way and then just pop that piece out and pull it right off. So Dremel tool worked good. I, I just put a little cutoff wheel on it. It held up too. It still used. I figured it'd eat right up but this metal in here, uh, let me get a pointer here. This metal on this is not the same. It's some kind of bimetal, softer metal than the barrel. But anyway you just keep checking it. Yeah, if, if you score the barrel a little bit it ain't gonna hurt nothing. We're going to be threading this anyway, so um, so the first thing you have to you have to order. Um, what I got was um, the uh, left hand threads M14 by one. You have to get everything the same. This and this and your crush washer, which is right here. That's to hold it on there. Uh, after you get the flash iron. Anyway, this this is left hand thread, and they do have this and. Right hand thread also if you want if you want to write in. Anyway, it screws on there, and then you just keep screwing it in, and then uh, thread the barrel, which has not been threaded yet. That's just to get get it uh, start straight, started straight, as you can see. Anyway, um, and then you uh, you just screw this on. I ordered that stuff uh, for then like a dummy. Uh, I thought I had the handle for this, the die handle. Well, I didn't have it. So I had to reorder, and that cost me an eight, extra $8 for shipping that I wouldn't have had to pay. But if you don't do that, uh, this whole thing costs you $83. That includes the uh, flash hider. And uh, as soon as I get that die handle, I will be uh, finishing this video. I should get it probably maybe Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. Anyway, and then uh, I'll be able to put this flash hider on there. It's a lot of money just to stick a flash hider on there, but what the heck. <laughs> People spend a lot of money on their guns for no reason. I mean, I don't need it. It just looks cool, I guess. But anyway, uh, I was kind of testing this camera out. Uh, it's a little, um, it's a Sony Bloggle. B-L-O-G-G-L-E. Made by Sony. It's a MHS TS20 Sony. You can look up, uh, search it on uh, uh, YouTube. I think there's a video up on it. But anyway, I, uh, I watched a video before I bought this. But the thing is, this thing runs. I've seen from 184 to 200 dollars, 194 around in there new. Well, I got this one uh, on Geeks. It's uh, refurbished. Works fine. Uh, for $84 plus shipping, so I don't know, about $92, $94, something like that. So I thought I'd just try it out. I'm shooting this in uh, uh, 720 uh, by 60 feet per second. Uh, it'll shoot 1080p in 30 frames or 720 in 30 frames, but this is uh, 720 uh, with 60 frames. It works pretty good as far as the movement. I mean, it, you're moving real good. It's just a little... Uh, Touch, it's got touch screen on it. It's got a uh, HDMI port on it. Uh, you hook it up to the TV or whatever. Uh, you, you'll see uh, that guy does a pretty good view on it. And gives you some information on it. But anyway, I'm just using it this time to test it instead of my JVC. But uh, looks like it's doing all right. I'll finish this video. I don't want to get it too long. Even though YouTube said I could go a little bit longer now. I guess I got a, enough on there. But I'll finish this video up. As soon as I get that handle, and uh, uh, we'll thread this barrel and be all done. 
Uh, I'll be back in a bit as soon as I get my handle. Okay, I finally got my die handle in uh, in the mail. Finally, didn't take that long really from that uh, website. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but you can get these in different sizes. This is a uh, M14 by one left hand. You can get it in right hand, or you get um, 128 too, I believe. Um, they got them all on the website. I've already got this in the die handle. It holds it in there. And this does have uh, lettering on it. That will go towards your breech. You can see the uh, little, uh, it's beveled there. So it'll kind of fit on there. So it's easy to get started. Anyway, that part goes towards the uh, breech. So we'll take our uh, little starter. That's to uh, put it in the end of the barrel so it get it on there straight. If I can get it on there. Get it started in there. Uh, Alright, I'll get it. Alright. What you want to do is you screw this in. And then screw it maybe oh, it's flush there. Screw it in about, I don't know, two or three threads. Just enough so it'll hold it straight and get it started. And then you just stick it on the end. And uh, you need some kind of oil. Uh, they got regular cutting oil. I didn't have any, so I'm going to use uh, Militech 1 just to put on it to lube it. And you just have to stick this on there. And this is a left hand thread, so we've got to go left hand. So you just kind of start turning it slow, turn it back and forth. Until you get it started, just go it easy. You will have to have this in some kind of a vise. Just keep turning it to you have to put a little pressure on it. And that little piece you put in there will hold it straight so you won't so you can get the dang thing started straight. I'm turn it back out and check it. It's starting to cut there, chafing it off there a little bit. Uh, have to keep after it. Uh, well, I guess we're getting it. Okay, what I had to do is, I started out making this, and just come to find out this is a little bit harder than I thought it was as far as pressure, and I, I just had to put in my uh, standard gun vise, which is, uh, I just pan over and see, it's just a regular, kind of like work vise, uh, shooting stand, well that ain't enough, uh, it just ain't enough. <laughs> uh, you got to put too much pressure on this. So I, I went ahead and um, put it on my uh, work vise. And I'm just going to, I already got it threaded, so I'm just going to show you what I did. <clears throat> it took a little bit longer, too. I couldn't do all this on camera because I'd run out of time. Anyway, I put the, uh, uh, you know, I got the thing started. What you got to do, and this cuts pretty slow, so what you got to do is you got to move it, you know, just not even a quarter turn and back. Move it and back, and you do have to put a lot of pressure this way on it, so you need to get it in a vise, a regular vise, two pieces of wood or leather. I used a piece of leather. Anything to hold it's got to be real secure, because the rig that I had set up didn't, didn't quite do it. Anyway, once you get that done, it, uh, it just takes a little time, but it's, you just uh, turn it, this is left hand thread of course, turn it a little bit and then clear it, turn it a little bit, clear it, keep adding oil in there, clean out, and as you go around, and the uh, starter, right here I'll let me zoom in on it a little bit, uh, come on, okay the starter right here, you have to watch this because it will bottom out on the barrel as you're turning it, so 
you got to keep monitor monitoring it and then and then back it off a little bit as you go and just keep backing it off and turn it turn it and then check it and back it off because this will go right up against the barrel and you keep doing that and once you get it in so far you just keep turning it and turning this and keep getting it turning this keep getting it and going pretty soon you can just take it right out you can see right where it goes in you can just take it right out and then you're all right and you just keep going till you get uh, you know back and forth back and forth keep lubricating and just keep going back and forth back and forth until it bottoms out which like I said I already did this on there the vice save time anyway once it bottoms out check it and you just spin it off and uh, and you got your three of that barrel you have to cut right through that I'll show you finished product here get it off okay come out real nice uh, it uh, Oh, we can see it a little bit closer. Okay. Uh, you can see right there, come out pretty nice. Just take your time because it had cut quite a bit of metal off there going through here. So you can see where this, uh, that's the piece that was on it right there. Okay, and then after you do that, you just take your uh, crush washer, which that's designed to hold it on there. And then just take and uh, screw this on, just like that, and you got a flash hider. Torque, of course, you got to torque this down a little bit. And uh, you know, it's quite a bit of money to spend for uh, just for a flash hider, but uh, you know, it uh, it's supposed to have one on it. I think, like I said. Cost eighty-five dollars or eighty-three if you don't screw up like I did. Okay, um, give a little look there. And you can see uh, I've done a pretty nice job. But the trick of this is you got to go slow. And it, it probably took me, I don't know, I would say thirty minutes. Anyway. But you can see this, this, you know, go over this again, this goes right in there. You just got to keep backing this off as you're turning this. So it don't bottom out. If it bottoms out against the barrel, and then it won't turn no more. So you got to keep turning it until it bottoms out. But other than that, you definitely got to have a die handle. But you, like I said, you can get all that stuff on the, online. Uh... It's done a pretty nice job. Come on, focus. But anyway, there's the uh, my old monitor there, and uh, that's about it, I guess. You know, just uh, the main thing here is just take your time, put that uh, crush wash on there, and so then just like it's made for it. Well, that's about it. Hope it didn't bore you. Maybe to help somebody. Catch you later.